Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this episode, we are in the Winter RV headquarters of Quartzsite, Arizona. So stick around. So we're in the Dome Rock Mountain area, which is a free BLM dispersed camping area just south of I-10 and just west of the town of Quartzsite. Uh, we're about a mile back from I-10. There's a slight bit of highway noise, but you quickly tune that out. Uh, there are also a number of BLM long-term visitor areas in the Quartzsite area. Uh, those we had no reason to go to one of those because basically you pay a monthly rent to the BLM to be able to stay there for months at a time throughout the winter season. That's why Quartzsite is so popular with RVers. Cheap, warm, long-term boondocking in the Sonoran Desert to get RVers through the cold winter months up north. Now among RVers, Quartzsite just very well may be the most famous small town in America. It's the home of the Big Tent RV show in January. The Big Tent's not here, we're only here in November, but there's still plenty to see in the RV market. We're gonna head over there now. Now, we've gotta be brutally honest here. While we found the desert surrounding Quartzsite to be starkly beautiful, we can't say the same for the town itself, which we found to be positively but ugly. It's largely a tent city erected in the middle of nowhere, catering to the RV crowd. In fact, I dare say that 70% of the town's businesses have RV as part of their name. Some of the RV parks in town like this one are a little better, but most are nothing but a giant dirt parking lot with utility posts. However, an RVer can find virtually anything they might need in these tents in Quartzsite, from parts for their rig to cheap scratch and dent groceries. 
It's peculiar for sure, but folks have found a way to earn a living from the scores of RVers who swell this town's population many times over during the winter months. We're taking a 45 mile drive from Quartzsite to see something we absolutely have to see while we're here. The tiny town of Poston on the Colorado River Indian Reservation northwest of Quartzsite is a grim reminder of a very dark chapter in our nation's history. In 1942, under an order signed by President Roosevelt, some 120,000 West Coast Japanese American citizens were relocated to internment camps following the bombing on Pearl Harbor. Some 18,000 ended up in a hastily constructed internment camp here in Poston, which quickly became, almost overnight, Arizona's second largest city. It's tough to find any remaining evidence of the concentration camp in Poston other than the memorial erected in 1992. Few of the original buildings remain, and members of the tribe, which opposed the camp at the time of its construction, still seem to be somewhat reluctant to talk about it. However, one positive legacy of the camp is the extensive and complicated network of irrigation canals that have allowed the tribe to prosper by farming this once arid desert land. So the sun is quickly going down on our short visit to the courtside area. We're going to pack things up in the morning and head for Joshua Tree National Park in California. So if you're not yet one of our grand adventurers, hit that subscribe button right now. Ring that notification bell. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. We'd love to hear from you as always in the comments section below this video. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.